And then it just kind of fell out of the tree. I don't know, it just, it just fell. Hey Eric, you know how fast we're supposed to be going? I haven't seen a sign in a while. I'm an Eagle Scout. I know when things aren't safe. We're fine. Don't those scouts organize those BS bake sales at school? I still don't understand why we need to sleep in the dirt just to go birding. Can't we just rent a cabin or something? It's not just about birding. It's about taking in the majesty of Mother Nature. Besides, it'll be good for you to get out and get some fresh air for once, Stuart. I always feel so pressured by those bake sales, man. I mean, they're so polite, but I just don't have the money to spend all those subpar baked goods. Hey, Ike. Wake up and smell the music, buddy. Hmm? What? What's on your mind? You barely said a word the whole trip. I need to use the bathroom. But then they start talking about how it helped the school and the rainforest or whatever. I just start to feel bad. Coming up on concrete now. Oh, I heard there's McGilvray's warblers around here. Aren't you guys excited? I just hate those bake sales, man. You know, we might also see, I don't know, red crossbills. Maybe if we're lucky in Northern Gosshog. Oh, maybe we could get uh, a Black Swift. Oh, a Black Swift would be awesome. You guys hear me? Are you guys excited? A Black Swift would be awesome. Frank, give me your bag. Why, man? There's nothing in there. I put the map in your bag. Can you hand it to me? Oh, oh yeah, most definitely. Mind cluing us in on the plan, Ranger Rick? I heard of an old rope swing around here, but it's not marked on the map. Then why are you looking at the map, dude? Because maybe if I look hard enough, I'll find it. What happened? We've been going the wrong way.
<laughs> See anything yet? Not yet. There's always tomorrow, though. So just how long are we gonna be out here anyway? I feel like Jess misses me. You have a girlfriend? Nah, she's my pet rat. So you sit in your basement with your rat all day? Should have figured knowing you. Well, what else should I be doing? I don't know. Put yourself out there more or something. It's a miracle I even got you out here in the first place. Hey, well, I'm not on trial here for being a loser. Right. We're all here taking the vast beauty of nature in all of her creations. Here he goes again. Hey, don't be a spoil sport, Ike. Anyway, we should get moving. Camp isn't going to set itself up. Ah, but we just sat down. And we can sit back down at the campsite. Let's move, gang. Man, you didn't even bring a lighter? That would ruin the authentic experience of roughing it in the great outdoors. How are you supposed to make a fire then, dude? Take a tip from Mother Nature. Just rub some sticks together. No way, man. Go rub your own sticks together. Relax. We don't need a campfire. We tell campfire stories. Oh, great. Ghost stories. Except this is no ghost story. It's real, local history. I picked it up for some birders around here. Is our campsite haunted or something? In a way. A long time ago, there was this guy named Hockett. He was a real, real loner. Everyone kept away from him. And he worked down at the old limestone crusher plant, which was the main source of income for the town at the time. But one day, he got into a horrible accident, and it mangled his face beyond recognition. What kind of accident? Whatever kind of accidents happen at crusher plants, I don't know. So as I was saying, he got his face all screwed up. And he had to wear a burlap sack over his head and cover it up because it disturbed all the workers. And he kept working at the plant because it was really all he knew. That was until the plant closed down. Nobody wanted to tell him. Yeah. But one night, when everyone had gone home, his boss broke the news. Hockett snapped, and he cut his boss's head clean off. Then he escaped into the surrounding woods. So, so where's the crusher plant? All the way back in town? Nah, it used to be up around here. Until it was abandoned and left to be consumed by the woods. Legend tells that Hockett is still out there living as a deranged mountain man, killing any who enter his territory. The locals here just call it Devil's Tower, because if you're looking for hell, you'll find it there. Wait, so he went psycho because he was out of work? Seems like an overreaction. Sounds like he was nuts from day one, man. Don't worry, guys. It's just a story. I don't know, man. If we don't watch out, old Baghead might get us. Whatever, guys. I'm just gonna go take a piss. I'm gonna go get some firewood, man. It's getting too cold out here. Good story, Eric. Is that whole thing true? Probably not. Besides, we can take him. You expect me to fend off a serial killer with my pocket knife? No, but I expect you to help me set up the tent. Come on. That I can do.
I'm starting to get worried. Shouldn't the guys be back by now? Oh, come on. They haven't been gone that long. Ike only left to pee. He should be back by now. Chill out. He probably just went to go get firewood with Frank. You worry too much, man. Yeah, I guess I do. Dude, did you hear that? Oh shit, it's right. That sounded like Frank. All right, let's go. Mike! Frank! Ike! Frank! Frank! Ike! Oh man, this is bad. Calm down, they couldn't have gone far. I think we should search individually so we can cover more ground. Split up? Are you crazy? If something is really wrong, you can't afford to waste time. Let's be back here in 15 if you don't find anything. I really don't feel good about this, Eric. It's fine. I'm an Eagle Scout, remember? Oh man.
think?